Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am the Todd Father. This is Adventures with the Todd Father. We are out here in Red Rock Canyon again, just west of uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. Beautiful area as you can see behind me. Harley the Adventure Dog is not with us today. Uh, that's kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. Um, today, if you remember a while back, I did a preview on a 2021 Ford F-250 um, and, I, and I went through some of the things that I was going to change, some of the cosmetic uh, modifications. Well, I finally got some of those done and I wanted to preview that here today. Um, so let's start right off with that. As you can see behind me, Red Rock is just a beautiful place. I did one of these videos out on the main road um, near Red Rock and when I got done, I realized that the traffic going by was made too much noise on the video, so I had to do something different. But anyway, so I'm up in the canyon this time, and I'm going to start right here on the back of the truck. Hopefully we can see that good. I'm going to come over here, maybe. So if you remember when I previewed this before, the applique on the back here was the... Uh, the brushed aluminum or brushed look on it looked really good but i had that painted body color so that was one of the modifications i wanted to make was make that body color and you see i got my iron man emblem on there the little red part came out of the middle of the m i'm gonna have to fix that somehow but um, uh, one thing i did to this is, as i go around i'll show you but i removed all the emblems on it removed had all the all the stickers and emblems removed off of it just to make it a cleaner look. Um, but there's the back applique. One thing I missed though was this right here. So I had everything else painted, painted chrome or anything that was chrome painted over, basically de-chromed it if you will, and go like that, give a better look. Basically I de-chromed it and uh, it turned out I think it turned out really good, but that is something I missed right there. One other thing I wanted to do that I still may do at some point is black this out. It's still the, the Ford blue color, which I still think looks good, but I may uh, black that out at some point in time. Get a new one that's, that's blacked out. Let's come around this way because the sun's shining on it a little better and you can see a little better. So if you remember, right here, it said Tremor. So this is the Tremor model that the sticker was on there that said Tremor. If you, if you go on YouTube, my shadow's right in the way, but anyway, there we go. Yeah, that looks better. If you go in, on YouTube, you can, you can see lots of videos on how to remove these and the other emblems. And I was just gonna do it myself but I was taking it into the body shop to have uh, the other paintwork done. So I decided I'd just let them do it. And uh, then I didn't have to worry about scratching anything or doing anything like that. So that's one of the things I did is have these stickers and the other emblems removed. And I'll show you that as we move up. The door handles were chrome. Um, had those painted over body color. I think that looks a lot better. And then this little strip right here was chrome. Is more of the brushed look, but, but it, regardless, had that painted black. The other door handle there had that painted black. And if you remember, too, I'm going to come down here. This had the tremor step on it. And I don't remember how closely I looked into that, but the tremor step, the stock step for the tremor, came out about this level right here, which is great for off road use. You know, you get the extra ground clearance because the, the other fixed steps come out about there. Well, one thing I did, I'm gonna open the door here, is uh, I actually ordered this with the with the power deployable. And so I got, finally, the Ford helped me out. We got those put on. So that's a much easier step than the higher step. But if you, if you don't want the power deployables, I would say go with that other taller step just to give you ground clearance and stuff like that. If you ever do any kind of off-roading at all, you want that extra ground clearance. But these steps are nice because they lower down, give you a lower step to step in. And then when the doors, clo those are, doors are closed, 
they fold up out of the way so they're up out of the way and you have the extra ground clearance as you can see right here too you had the ford uh, power stroke emblem right here uh, that is gone i also had the body shop remove those but like i said they don't look too hard to do um, I watch a few videos on how to do it and I think you you know anybody could do it I just chose to let the body shop do it because um, They were doing all the work anyway to do the paint work. You can see I had this painted um, The chrome the chrome parts painted and left the back part black So I think that helps clean the look up a little bit And then one other thing I did was the chrome caps on top of the mirrors you can see right there, I'm putting these legs down for a second. So you can see the, the caps, they were chrome as well and had those painted out and looks real good. I don't know if we're gonna be able to see it very well, but I'm gonna set that right there. Inside, inside here are some lights. that very good if it's not a little bit dark yeah you can we'll go to the other side it's in the shade but I put some lights in there that come on when the key is on so I think that looks really good too that was something I added it wasn't too expensive to do that's while we're at it we'll go around to the other side so you should be able to see that one better yeah so painted to match and then uh, had the lights put in it. So we'll come back here to where we were, have the lights. I'm gonna set that down again and turn the truck off. Oh, I didn't close the door all the way. There we go. So then you come around to the front, which I think this is one of the parts that looks the best, ended up looking the best, is uh, I had the, the brushed look grill painted body color. So I think that looks great myself. Matches in. Once again, I left the, the Ford part blue. I still think I would like to black that out or find a replacement where I could black that out, have that blacked out. And there is the chrome. I know I said I had it dechromed, and there is chrome there. But there's also chrome in the lights, which you can buy these lights where it eliminates the chrome part of the light um, to black. If some of these come with, the, if you get the blacked out model, I think it's a Lariat you can get with the blacked out headlights, the black appearance package, I believe is what it's called. So there's the front. I'm gonna try and uh, get some before and afters pictures in with this video so you can see what it looked like before. But I just think that makes a much cleaner, nicer look. I'll walk around this way. You can see the mirror caps again are uh, blacked out. Emblem, body color emblems removed this work was done by Troy's custom auto body in Ivins Utah they do a phenomenal job if you need some work done they've they've been very very good to me and very good work emblem removed so yeah you'll have to you'll have to look up Ivins Utah I know but yes they do phenomenal work um, once again, I'm a little bummed I missed that. And then of course you got the chrome there, but, but the basic, the basic premise was to de-chrome. <laughs> so I de-chromed it. <clears throat> I want to get some background shots here with, uh, the red rocks in the background. Um, red rock Canyon is just, just beautiful and great. There's the truck with the nice background. I just think that it looks so much cleaner with the emblems removed and things painted body color, basically de-chromed. 
as much as I could or be nice to do a little more. So anyway, that's my short video for today. The 2021 Ford F-250 tremor package with all the emblems removed and everything painted body color. I think it looks great. Thanks for joining me on Adventures with the Todd Father. We've got more adventures to come where I take you on adventures and Harley the Adventure Dog will join us on a lot of those. Unfortunately, she can't come on all of them, but hopefully she'll be able to come on most of them. We all love Harley the Adventure Dog. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit like for this video if you like it and help, help out that way. Once again, thanks for joining us.